<laughs> Look, what's happened over the last week, you know, and it happened yesterday, was that they, they fell behind the Prime Minister, they resolved the Prime Ministership, they resolved the leadership of the Labor Party. Uh, now it's about driving ahead, uniting the party and moving ahead. And look, the performance that the Prime Minister has done over the last week, has done over the last few months, has done over the last year, has just been amazing. She's really pulled things together. I'm seeing a great leader at the moment who's been able to be a very stoic woman who's out there and delivering. And uh, I'm just uh, uh, amazed by the performance she's putting in. OK, can you confirm to us now that you're putting yourself forward as a, a nominee for this uh, Senate vacancy left by Mark uh, Abib? Before I get into that, what I want to say is that Mark Abib, uh, you know, he has done a great job. In the Aboriginal community, he will always be remembered fondly for his work that he's done in employment and economic development. He not only had the passion for the job, he actually knew what he was doing and, and knew how to deliver in those areas. So I thank him for that. I congratulate the Prime Minister on that. But in regard to my own uh, political, uh, uh, you know, what, what I want to achieve in that, then look, for me, uh, it's, it's, I have no comment in regard to it. I'm going to be looking <laughs> at the next few uh, 24 hours, see how things panning out and that, but uh, yeah. You said earlier this morning that uh, you thought it would be pretty soon that we'd see um, an Aboriginal uh, member in Parliament, uh, an, an ALP member in Federal Parliament. Uh, were you referring to yourself then? or, or? Uh, Look, no, I wasn't referring to myself, but uh, look, the, the momentum's there. You look at the number of Aboriginal uh, people in Parliament across Australia, the ACT, uh, New South Wales, uh, Northern Territory, Western Australia, and in very prominent positions like Ben Wyatt as, uh, as the Shadow Treasurer and, and Linda Burney, the Leader of the Opposition, uh, Deputy Leader of the Opposition, I mean, in New South Wales. And, and you see that doing a great job and there's been quite a number of them. I think just off the top of my head there's been about 18 Aboriginals within the Labor Party. Uh, yes, there's still a big issue in, in some states uh, but and also at the federal level. But, you know, it'll happen. It'll be there and I have no uh, doubt that the party will deliver at the end of the day. It, it really is a gaping hole, though, isn't it, isn't it, in ALP history that there has not been um, an Aboriginal member at the federal level? Look, there's no argument about that. You, you, you just see the other side of politics. You see uh, Dr Ken uh, White in the Parliament, a, a good friend of mine. I consider him a good friend. I've known him for a number of years and he's, he's a really good bloke. He's, he's in the Liberal Party. You see Senator Neville Bonner, of course, who was in the Liberal Party uh, back in the 70s and early 80s. And now, and then you saw Aidan Ridgway, of course, in the late 90s and now in the early noughties, I suppose, you call it, for want of a better name. But, uh, you know, uh, so it is... A bit of an issue for us, but uh, look, I have confidence in the party. I have confidence that they'll overcome it. Why would you be a good candidate? Uh, for me, my, you know, the, you're getting back to the uh, to the issue about whether I'd be uh, a Senate candidate or not. At this stage, as I said, I have no comment on it, and we'll see what pans out over the next few days. Uh, should Aboriginality be a factor in the Labor Party choosing who the, the next, next Senate candidate is? No, it shouldn't. It, it's, it's all about... Uh, merit. It's about performance. And it's about getting good people in the parliament and getting the team that uh, Julia Gillard needs to, to to drive forward. And she she's there. She's got the energy. She's got the she's got the policies in place. She's you know she's just biting at the chase to get out there and do it and drive ahead. That's what it should be basically about. There's no doubt about that. Well, why why is it so important that that gaping hole in ALP ALP history be filled? If it's if it's not by you, by someone else. Well, I think it's important uh, that we do have a person on merit there and have an indigenous person on merit there. The reality is you can't claim to, to be the representative of Aboriginal people and if you're not going to promote people up through the system. Mm. News that's just come through in the, in the last uh, 20 minutes or so, apparently Bob Carr is possibly putting himself up. This isn't uh, from the ABC, this is uh, from another media organisation that Bob Carr has been approached for this and uh, would apparently like the, um, the foreign portfolio. Uh, once again, I'll, I'll stress that we haven't had this independently confirmed. But uh, what, what do you think, uh, what kind of candidate do you think Bob Carr will oh, make? Look. Look, there's no doubt about Bob Carr. You know, he's a man I have a, enormous respect for. Uh, he was premier, the longest-serving premier of New South Wales. Yeah, everyone knows his background about history and about and about foreign affairs. That, and he is a, a huge contributor to to Australia, uh, not only to New South Wales but to Australia as a whole. So, look, he'd be a magnificent candidate. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Christina Keneally was raised this morning. I She's have, ruled herself has out. ruled now. herself out, but yeah. I reckon she would have been a very good candidate too. And again, we have a stoic woman who who, who had went through rough times, and and, that, and she came out. At the, to me, she came out at the end as a champion. And you wouldn't be a bad candidate yourself. 
Well, a lot of people are saying that. <laughs> I, as I said, uh, I'll leave that uh, for the moment and we'll, right. we'll see what happens. Over Would the you next expect to days. make a decision that in the next 24 hours or so? Yeah, I, I will make a decision in 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, just on another issue, that, since you are former National Party president, mm. uh, there's a lot of talk now about reform of the ALP in, in the wake of what's happened. Mm. What, do, what do you think about the uh, prospect or the uh, a, a proposal for direct election of the parliamentary leader from the ALP member? Membership rather than put the, than caucus. This this has been raised before. It's been raised before. The Australian Democrats used it, and it was very successful there, as we remember, uh, when they when they actually did use it. Uh, the party imploded, and and whatever happened to the Australian Democrats. I don't I don't accept that. I don't agree that it should be elected for the full membership. You, when you're in the parliament, you get this intimacy about how people perform. You get to see their toughness. You get to see their, their policy-driven ideas. You get to know all about their performance within the parliament. And that's why I think it still needs to be in the hands of the parliamentary team to make that within the caucus to make that decision. Some people would argue that there's a disconnect now between what the parliament thinks and what the people think in relation to what's happened with the, the Kevin Rudd, Julie Gillard stoush over the last week or so. I just look at the parties. Uh, over the last 100 years and 110, 111 years in Australian history, the parties that you did elect uh, the leader of the parliamentary team from outside the parliament have all imploded right. and all died. Uh, the parties that have been the most successful, and that includes the coalition and the Labor Party, have been parties where the leader was selected by the caucus people who know the intimacy of, the, of how people act in the parliament. OK, Warren Mundine, thanks for coming in and give us the yell when you make your mind up about whether you're going to stand or not. OK, thanks a lot. Catch you later. <laughs> Cheers.